This is a, a day in the life. I just sitting here and thinking how interesting it is what we do. Um, we've got our little one, very covert, and there's our not so little one, and myself are waiting in the car while soon of us doing a behavior modification. Um, this is actually one where we're. Um, it was the 200th like on our page. <laughs> we're almost at 700 now, so somebody taking advantage of that finally. It's really cool to honor those. We've now got a team member that is willing to film. Uh, we're wanting to document our behavior modification for a variety of reasons. The clients that we're serving, it helps them to be able to review and remember some of the things they might have forgotten in the heat of the hour two hour session you know it's sometimes a fire hose and a sponge so I think the video aspect helps tremendously and it helps us you'll see soon of a reviewing footage which I think is some of the most compelling because you actually get to see how the behaviorist mind is working in in these rehabilitation and and where our hopes lie I, um, and it helps her to review some cases are pretty cut and dry and easy and others will be incredibly hard for her and she'll see where she went wrong um, but so assessing it is a big part of it and being transparent is, an, is a critical component of Solgave we want to hide behind nothing and, and learn as we go and show that we're willing and humble enough to do so so a day in the life we spent a ton of time with our graphical person I say a ton of time <laughs> a couple hours um, who is in Norway and gracious enough to be part of the journey, really grasps uh, the Solgave brand, met with us in Sweden, she's Norwegian, and uh, anyway, a beautiful soul that helps us capture the intent and the importance of all the subtle things that go into kind of brand development. We're working on the Second Chance Rehabilitation Center project, early stages in the development of the brand and culture and, and vision. Um, and then we're on to meet and greet, and we've done a pet sitting, and uh, it's just an interesting day in the life. It's a very typical day in life. It's Sunday, and I thought it was going to be my first day off of just, like, having zero to do, you know, on the books, but it's turned into kind of a non-stop day, but it's awesome. As when you're, you know, when your dream is your business and it's your life, it, it it's... This one. Okay, honey. I'll get that for you. This is uh, Gabriella, and we're killing time here in the car. She does a wonderful job helping us. It's a family business, inside and out. She'll be starting school in two weeks, but for now she goes with us. The little one was asleep, so I stayed in the car. Had he been awake, I might have carried him in and been part of the dialogue, um, or she might have warned him. We kind of shoot from the hip a bit. Uh, this first few months back uh, with him being so little but he's now six weeks and uh, she's doing two a week and uh, that's my little clip for a day in the life we'll talk more later Bye. don't move what's the most challenging part about running a small business that's one of the most challenging parts Having yeah, a five-year-old. Now, it's what's the most challenging part, Sunova, for you so far? It's handling you. Because <laughs> you're a handful. And so is she. A little pack here. We've been cooped up all day. It's hard to get rested whenever there's... And now you should cut and film the rest of the park. Okay. <laughs> Look, little beans. Side hands off leash. And mini <laughs> dog. Oh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Freedom! Gabriella. Playtime, fun time. It's a serious game of tag. <laughs> Ashna says she's done. 
One lap. Willow. And Zidia says, come get me. It's the Saluki, our Afghan, and our little Chihuahua mix. Desert dog. Street dog. <laughs> hey, Willow. Go, Ashna. Go, go. Go, Ashna. Go, go. Look at Willow. <laughs> Oh, she's fast, man. <laughs> and Ashna's so clever. <laughs> oh, there we go. Gabriella. Not appropriate, honey. Okay. Another section of a day in your life. Okay. So it's the end of a long day. It's the end of a long day. And, um... Yeah, it's almost 10 o'clock, and I've actually got a pet sitting client to go to here in 10 to 20 minutes. Um, and then a lot of work to do tonight. So it is a very typical, strange day for us, you know, as always. Tell me the, the best, what has been the best part of today? Um, I think the best part of today for me would have to be getting close enough with the logo for a second chance. Uh, re rehabilitation center that I could share a teaser um, you know even as something as simple as the logo the intent and the energy and the amount of time that we put into it just like we do with the original one is it's a lot so it's like giving birth to the next phase of something for us that's the larger dream and while we don't have the dogs sketched yet that our graphical person's working on it it was cool that was my highlight mm-hmm What's been the worst part of today? Mm. I mean, not to say specifically, but I think, uh, one, you know, I dropped a ball, um, which is one thing, and it's not important what it was. But you and I are perfectionists, and, you know, if I Beat look yourself back, up about it. Yeah, mm. of course. We, where we were six months ago, where we were three months ago, where we were last week, um, as far as pet sitting, dog walking, and running and managing this business, we we strive to get so much better at. So, making even a tiny mistake it kills me. Um, although it turned out to not be a huge deal, and, you know, it's still something that affects us. Mm -hmm. What else happened today? I don't know. Yeah, it's been a it's been a typical day in the life of the bitters. It's. Um, you know, you you think there are so many hours in the day, but then turns out it's like it's a wild ride. You know, mm -hmm. so we got a a thirty minute nap in. Um, that was one of the highest too. Actually, a thirty minute nap with my wife and 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 baby boy, because hours mean nothing. You know, when the family business is your life, there's no beginning and there's no end. I mean, the the sleep is even. Ch -ch what? Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, no, right? I'm preaching to the choir. <laughs> then you can never complain about sleep ever. <laughs> you know this. You can't one. complain about anything anymore, can yeah. you? It's like that trump <laughs> card is out, and I'm searching <laughs> for the next trump card because I know it exists. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't know. We've got YouTube videos that we're trying to get up. Actually, I guess I suppose this is the end of a little montage of a day in the life stuff because the. And then another one for you, uh, for something separate. And uh, there's more stuff on my mind that needs to be done. And since we had a cancellation tomorrow on a B mod, I keep thinking of that I can stay up late and work, maybe till midnight, and uh, hmm. keep pushing tomorrow. Mm -hmm. you know? Is the faithful companion in our this year? It's kind of the nice, quiet time of the night that we get to. Uh, uh, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Yeah, you should go to bed, and then I can get some work done. Um, but yeah, another day, another dollar. <laughs> another day, another 50 cent. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I would say. That's an American saying. Another day, another dollar. Yeah. So, good day, exhausting day. We likely always look exhausted. I have to uh, give a... Uh, disclaimer to most houses I walk into today but when you say we have a six week old son that kind of clears you it's like hey I think the look suits you yeah D depth <laughs>
look of death suits me. <laughs> the intensity the look of death. But I will say this, I'm proud of where we are. Reading the, I'll tell you another highlight really quick, and then you can shut it off. Reading the blog that was written almost exactly one year today. It's what I love about blogging. Some people probably despise that we share so much, but but uh, we get so many letters of support and quiet messages that it's why Sinov and I have continued to document our journey and put our entire life out there, which was really about transformation, healing, and the foundations of what what Sogave Project in Sweden was was born to do. Reading how that was written one year ago that we had not had a logo for the company yet, but we had discovered what it was going to look like and feel like and how we, that was so prophetic and how, what we've had to come through to get here. I mean, we, we've, every bit of savings, we've sold everything we had, including mm -hmm. a second <laughs> beat up car that we bought because we needed a second car, but one month we just, you know, mm -hmm. do I go corporate and get benefits or do we stay the dream? And it was, 90 nights like that where we tossed the decision around and it felt so good to read that and know how right on we were and we're finally at a place where we can just kind of barely survive but we've grown by 20 and 30 percent a month and I'm not having to do side work three days a week. Um, that was a really cool thing to see one year ago how well we knew where we mm -hmm. were going to be which is why I'm so confident and we're so proud of where we look towards the Second Chance Rehab Center being in a year. Mm -hmm. and we're in an exciting place, an exhausting place, and I know enough to know that we can't slow down and, and keep the momentum going. Cut, she says. I talk too much. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>